Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it Infinity Animation. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 4 seconds. Go to the toolbar, and select the ellipse tool. Set the fill color to none. And stroke color to solid color with 5 pixels. Hold the shift and alt keys and draw a circle. Center the anchor point. Then align it to the center. Lock the shape layer. Again select the ellipse tool. Set the fill color to solid color. Set the stroke color to none. And choose any color you like. Draw a small circle just like this. Select the Move tool, and center the anchor point. Click this little Add button, and select the repeater. Go under the repeater 1, then under the transform repeater 1. Change the X position from 100 to 0. Change the rotation to 18 degrees. And change the copies to 20. Cool. Let's increase the circle scale. Go to ellipse 1. Then transform ellipse 1. Then increase the scale from 100 to 110%. Select the repeater 1. Click the little lid button. Again choose the repeater. Go under the repeater 2. Change the copies to 2. Go under transform repeater 2. Change the X position to something like this. Change the rotation to 4 degrees. Slightly move the circle to the left side. Unlock the circle layer, and delete it. Rename the shape layer to infinity shape. Keep the layer selected, and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Go under the duplicated layer properties, then under the contents, and delete both repeaters. Change the shape layer color to white. Keep the layer selected and press the S key on the keyboard to open scale properties. Then add a keyframe. Go forward to 2 seconds on a timeline. Then change the scale to 15%. Rename the first layer to a circle, or any name you like. Go to the first frame. Select the circle layer, and make it duplicate. Press Ctrl plus right arrow to move 3 frames forward. Then drag the second layer to start from 3 frames. And move the circle, just like this. Select the second layer, and make it duplicate. Move to 3 frames forward. And drag the third layer. Then move the circle. Repeat the same process. Let me do it faster to save your time.
Let me adjust the circle position. Select the infinity shape layer, and make it invisible, or you can delete it if you want. Let's preview it. Cool. Looks good to me. Right click on infinity animation, then click on composition settings, and change the duration to 8 seconds. Go forward to 4 seconds on the timeline. Select all layers, and make them duplicate by pressing the Ctrl and D key on the keyboard. Move the duplicated layer to the top side. Move all duplicated layers to start from 4 seconds, just like this. Make sure, you are at the 4 seconds. And press the B key to select the work area. Right click here. And choose Trim Comp to work area. Let's preview it. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Select all layers. Right click. And choose pre-compose. Rename it to infinity or whatever name you like. It's working perfectly. Let's move to the next step. Select the infinity composition layer. Go to effects and presets. And search the effect fill. Drag and drop to the layer. Again search for the effect hue and saturation. Drag and drop to the infinity layer. Click the little stopwatch icon to add a keyframe on the channel range. Go to the last frame. And change the master hue to 280 degrees. Perfect. Select the infinity layer. And press Ctrl D key to make it duplicate. Rename it to infinity glow. Go to effects and presets. And search for the effect glow. Drag and drop to the infinity glow layer. Change the glow threshold to 55%. Change the glow radius value to 35. Select the glow effect. And make it duplicate. Change the glow radius value to 0. And change the glow intensity value to 0. Let's see the final results. Amazing. I am happy with the results. I hope this was helpful, and that you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.